Two home games, two victories this week for IUPUI, and for a second time this season, a win against Division I competition, this time of the in-state variety. Jaguars never trailed against Purdue-Fort Wayne today. They win by a score of 74-65 with our recap, Greg Rakestraw and Bob Lovell with you, and creating points in fast-break scenarios and off turnovers, a big key for IUPUI. Well, they had the advantage 21-6, to and, and you see it right here when you can get the turnover and throw ahead, and you know, a lot of it was just great individual effort. Marcus Burke here on the penetration and, and, on, and the and one opportunity. But again, a lot of it either off the steal, as you see Grant Weatherford, which he did and did so well today. Generating some offense off your defense is something that they did today and did very well. That steal from Weatherford, by the way, was on the back end of a big three by Marcus Burke. When this was down to a five-point game, mm -hmm. it got it back to 10. It gave the Jaguars just enough cushion down the stretch. That five-point spurt was big because then it allows you late in the ball game to kind of steady yourself again. And you see the steal. You see the look ahead for the layup. It's good to see the Jags do some things offensively. Again, penetrate pitch. When they're able to get that kind of movement, that kind of action with the ball, and they're playing well defensively, they're a pretty good team. 16 assists for IUPUI on 26 field goals in today's game. And we don't show you free throws for highlights. That was a highlight for IUPUI. No they question. were 14 of 16 from the line today. Jags get a few days off now for semester finals. They are next in action at Fresno State December the 20th. Back here in two weeks to open up conference play against Youngstown State.